All right, this is the Tudor Wizard. What we're doing now is we're going to give you the solution to this trichotomy problem, we call it, or for any two real numbers, A and B, we have to always have two cases. R is a, what we call totally ordered, and that means you can compare everybody with inequalities. Here's, for any two integers we take, or integers, any numbers in there, any two real numbers we take, there has to be two scenarios or not two scenarios, that's why we call it trichotomy. Usually it's a dichotomy, a dilemma of two. This is a dilemma of three. What is it for any two numbers? We have to have that the first is less than the second, or the first is equal to the second, or the first is larger than the second. That has to be true for any two real numbers. Now we specifically have two numbers, and what this one is saying is, here's a number one, which is a real number. Here's the number 0 0.9, which is infinitely many nines repeating over and over again. And that's a, supposedly a real number. And another way to ask this is, is 0 0.9 an integer? Is it equal to 1? <laughs> Turns out, here's the answer. 2 is correct. And then you're like, well, yeah. And then we'll have a debate. You can have a debate on Facebook or watch why this is true. I'm going to use logic and reasoning and a bunch of math to deduce the fact that this is actually the true statement. Of course, also I was hoping someone would point out when you do this, I'm assuming I'm a base 10 representation. It does not necessarily true in other base representations, but I know if you're watching on Facebook, you assume it was on base 10. What's base 10 decimal station? What does that point mean? We're going to find out in a second anyways to prove this. How are we going to do that? Theorem or proposition is what they call a not fancy theorem. We're going to stick to theorem. What does this say? I'm going to have a statement that I think is true and then I'm just not going to guess or try to argue this willy-nilly. We're going to give a deductive uh, argument as to why it actually is true. What's our theorem? I claim 2 is correct. That this is equal to 1. First of all, how do I do that? Proof. Let's look at this guy, 0 0.9, with that bar on there. What does that mean? That means this is 0 0.999. I can keep going. I can't. I'm a finite creature. I'll never get to infinity. But there's an infinitely many nines is what that's saying. And it just keeps going. And the problem of what people argue is when they pick the sort of obvious one to where they want us to be less than one instead of larger than one and de definitely not equal to one is because you're thinking of a, a finite number somehow but there's infinitely many nines and infinity is an extremely long time especially towards the end therefore what are we going to do with this i'm going to take this representation and show you that that actually means what is this decimal point this actually means what now i'm not going to write that out for each one i'll do the first three so that you can see what that says <laughs> this is equal to zero times ten to the zero the one spot and there's none of those and then this is plus the decimal point tells us that the exponents of 10 become negative wrote zero i never tried to write a one in there no plus what this decimal point says this is nine times the power of 10 and the decimal point says that those powers become negative so this is times 10 to the negative one this nine is plus nine times 10 to the negative two this nine is plus nine times 10 to the negative three plus ellipsis dot 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 all the way and what is that now we're going to use some machinery now what i see is this is equal to nine there's nine in every term what's rule one of factoring i can take the nine out of that infinitely many times and that's going to be 10 to the minus one plus 10 to the minus two plus 10 to the minus three plus dot 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 plus 10 to the minus n plus dot 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 and that is equal to nine times we're going to write it as the sum from n equals 1 to infinity. And the sigma is s for sum in Greek. So we're adding these things. And that says we get what? And then I'm going to use exponent laws. Exponent laws, watch the video. This is 10 to the negative n. And that is equal to 9 times the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 10 to the minus 1 to the n. This is negative 1 times n, and then I associate it. And then that's what? The reciprocal of 10. That's equal to 9 times the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over 10 to the n. 
careful this is so this is what we call a geometric series and it has a geometric ratio of one tenth one tenth is less than one so this is convergent to one over one minus this geometric ratio just a second i'll write it down but they're going to try and get you. I get to use one of my other favorite dirty tricks. I have to add zero in the exponent. The rule actually says you can use this if it's n minus one in the exponent. I don't have n minus one. I have n. Watch this. This is equal to nine times the sum from n equals one to infinity of one tenth times n minus one plus one. I've added zero in the exponent and now I have that and I want this one so I'm going to use the other exponent law. Sum in the exponent is product in the basis. I'm going to take a one tenth off. This is equal to nine over this one tenth becomes one tenth I took off of the power series exponent law times the sum from n equals one to infinity of one over ten to the n minus one. This guy I claim somehow is now going to be a one. I'm going to show that by using the geometric series that this is convergent to a value. Let's compute that. 0 0.9 we just showed is equal to 9 over 10 times the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over 10 to the n minus 1. And because 1 over 10 is less than 1, this converges to 9 over 10 times this beast converges to 1 over 1 minus 1 tenth. Now let's add and multiply fractions. Why would I want to do that? To show that this is 1. That's why. This is equal to 9 over 10. Leave him alone. Brackets first. Do what's in the brackets. I need a common denominator. This is 1 over 10 minus 1 over 10. I get a common denominator by multiplying dirty tricks, dirty tricks, dirty tricks, multiply by 1, 10 over 10. 10 minus 1 over 10 is what? I get 9 over 10 over the reciprocal of 9 over 10. Those things cancel, but just in case you can't see it, this is 9 over 10 times. What do you do when you divide fractions? Flip and multiply. Equals a 1-er. It's a 1. It equals 1. I know, mind blowing. You're like, well, technically, yes, I just showed 0 0.9 repeating is one, but you use this horrible machinery. All right, all right, all right. Let's do it and with a different technique. If you don't like that argument, I'll just force feed another one down your throat. Proof two, 0 0.9 is still equal to one. I've got another root there. Let's go back to Muhammad bin Musa al kahrizmi He invents algebra. And that's why we get the word algorithm from his, his name, al Khwarizmi, And we get the word algebra from his book, The Algebra. In that, he develops what we call algebra. What did he do? al Khwarizmi says, call it X. Yes. So I'm going to call it X. Now let's see. When I multiply things by 10, powers of 10, what happens to the decimal? It moves to the right. So what is 10X? It's going to move this. Remember, this is 0 0.9999999. And I'm going to move it. Multiplying it by 10 is going to do that. So this is 9.9 .9 repeating. The clever trick is I've just created two numbers using algebra to call it x. I've created two numbers that have the same repeating part now. And there's infinitely many of them. Now I have 9.999 .9 repeating. And now we'll put him on the top, actually, which is what we're doing. Now when I subtract those, all infinite and many of them are going to subtract away because, and then I can get rid of the repeating part. Let's subtract those. What do you do? You line the numbers up, you put the bar, you put the operation to remind yourself what you're doing and now do it. These all go away. What's 9 minus 0? 9. What's 10 minus 1? 9x's. Oh. And a couple more exponent laws. Solve for x. This is x is 9 over 9, which is 1. Please subscribe by hitting the notification bell. You can also contact us at Facebook at Adrian the Tutor or at Instagram at the Tutor underscore Inc. If you subscribe, you will get notifications to a bunch of a uh, whole series in this where we do. We, I'm going to post on Facebook and on Twitter a bunch of math puzzles that you try them for a few days, and then I'm going to do video answers, solutions to all of those. I'll see you next time.